Hey, it's that time once again. So glad you could stop by, folks. Mark the Movie Band here, and welcome to the final cut. So glad you could join us today. As I mentioned last weekend, finally went to the movie theater, and the final film that I saw on my binge watching at the movie theater happened to be uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. And now, this is an interesting story where Raya is on a mission to uh, hunt down the Last Dragon to fight the Droon. And the Droon are some very nasty creatures that were released due to uh, a bit of a mistake made by Raya. And she's looking to help heal the world she helped break. And along the way, she gains a group of friends who help her in her mission to try to reunite uh, Kumandra. Uh, wow. Uh, I didn't know what really to expect going into this film. I wanted to see it on the big screen rather than on the screen at home, and I am so glad I did. First and foremost, this has got to be some of the best animation we've seen out of Disney animation like ever. I, I, it was a gorgeous film visually. I loved every bit of animation. You almost had to remind yourself, you're like, oh wait, that's animated because it looked so realistic and so well done from the translucency in the skin to just the overall environments that they're put in. It looked so real and so cool. And it was just definitely meant to be seen on a big screen. Some scenes were just like paintings and I loved it. And I love the mythology that they came up with for this world that Raya lives in. It felt rich. It felt ancient. It felt authentic. Uh, the fantasy world they painted, I wanted to live in this world with Raya because it was just so cool with all the statues and magic and everything involved in it. Yeah, I dug it. This film just pulled me right in. Now, uh, Kelly Marie Tran plays Raya. I thought she was fantastic. Yes, Rose Tycho from the Star Wars films. She was wonderful as the Raya character. And Aquafina playing uh, Sisu. Uh, we saw her in Jumanji, the next level here. Man, you wouldn't guess that was her. She gets into this role. And I love the dynamic between Raya and Sisu quite a bit. Uh, Gemma Chan in here playing a Namari, who is the rival to Raya. Uh, oh, wow. Man, she kicked ass another great strong female character in this animated film uh, daniel day kim playing a benja who was raya's dad loved he was great everybody was great in here benedict wong alan uh Tudyk was in here uh, yeah it's a fun voice cast disney pulling from uh actors who have worked for the company before voicing some wonderful memorable actors in a beautifully crafted animated film and i know some people were a little bored by it or not entertained and i get that but for me this is what i want for a big screen experience and raya i think really delivered with a interesting story and some fun characters and a great ending with a fantastic message uh, about hope which is something i think a lot of us need to hear and see and it does that uh across the board so yeah Raya the Last Dra and the Last Dragon for me was five stubs. I, I had no problems at all with this film and hope to catch it again soon. So thank you for uh, watching. If you've seen this film, please, as always, leave your constructive comments down below. Check out our Patreon. Got a lot of great tiers there. It's our 15th anniversary year here. And July 9th, we're doing a 15th anniversary AMA that I hope you can join for that time soon to be determined. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bells so you keep up to date with all the great content we got coming in celebration of our anniversary. I thank you for your support. And as always, remember, uh, keep that ticket stub.